I love it. I love this. Hey guys, it's Steph and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed yet, check out some of the content. If you like it, please subscribe. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Steph Loves Love, y'all. Today, I'm doing some snacks, y'all. Some British snacks, okay? I got some sweet and some savory. I got a couple drinks. Y'all ready to see what I think about these snacks? All right, let's get into the video. All right, y'all, I'm back. So, let's jump right in. I got a few savory. More than sweet. Y'all know I don't like sweet stuff that much. But we're going to try a couple sweet items as well. Got some candy bars, cookies, chips, and some drinks. Alright. Let's jump into it. I'm just going to go with the ones I'm more, most interested in. This is Walker's. I think Walker's is like uh, the Lay's brand in the UK. I'm not sure if it's the exact same company or what, but they show are looking similar as far as like the logo and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know who copied who or if it's the same company. But Walkers, seriously, salt and linegar. Salt and linegar, y'all. I'm assuming this is gonna be like vinegar. I don't know. I've never heard of linegar. We gonna try it. They definitely look like lace. Smell like salt and vinegar. Mmm. I like this. The vinegar is very vinegary, but it's it's more vinegary than the lay salt and vinegar to me. And the chip is firmer, which I like. And much less fragile than Lay's. I really like these a lot. These are definitely getting saved. Salt and vinegar. Lay's are one of my favorite. So these are gonna be getting eaten for sure. This is another song. I think they love vinegar out there, y'all. It seems like they had a strong theme of onion and a strong theme of vinegar at the the uh, British store that I went to. So, fish and chips flavor baked snacks. Okay, when I saw this, I didn't read the bottom part. I was thinking it was going to be like some fishy chips. But I'm kind of happy that's not what, what they were talking about. Okay. The texture is very interesting. I kind of like the texture. It can be more crunchy, but something about it I like. It's almost like baby food, a baby snack. I don't taste the vinegar though. The vinegar is not there. So that's, that I'm a little, little disappointed by, but these are pretty good. I feel like you could actually give these to a baby because it's not, they're not real sour. And then they would love that texture. This would like melt into melt in their mouth, okay? I'm gonna go on and do a drink next because I need something to drink now. After drinking, eating those. Chips. Okay, so this is Ben Shaw's Dandelion and Burdock. It says the eccentric botanical, so it's gonna be flowery, blend of wild dandelions and purple flowering burdock. It says our British ancestors have been making this mysterious combination since the Middle Ages. So this is a common British flavor? Okay. Oh, I didn't expect it to be like Coke. I just assumed it was gonna be purple because of the outside, okay. So it is carbonated, y'all know I love that. Oh, oh, that's rough. That is rough. It starts off kind of tasting like a cola, but then it, it gives a, a licorice, the black licorice aftertaste. Who? That's rough. If you love black licorice though, you would like this. I personally don't. So that's gonna be a no for me. Okay, let's try this another Walkers. Lays look like bacon. Oh, I'm sorry, sizzling smoky bacon. All right, let's jump. Let me try to get one of them. One of them that has a lot of the flavor on it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. That first crunch. Ugh, ugh. Okay. It's definitely smoky and it's definitely bacon, y'all. They definitely got the flavor that they were trying to get. So I'm gonna give them a 10. Now, for does Stephanie like it? 
Ooh, it's kind of rough, y'all. It tastes like, wow, okay, bacon bits. It tastes like I'm eating a large bacon bit. They did this really good. God. If you love bacon flavor stuff, you would love this. Ah. 10. 10 out of 10. Alright, let, let me go to a sweep. I think this one is a very common bar. Uh, Maltesers. Maltesers Teasers. Okay. I don't know if this is the original one or like a, a spinoff of the original. Cute, very cute. I love how you it's the little pieces and you break them and you get a little smaller piece. I'm wondering if that's like a malt. Oh. Now that's good. Mm-hmm. This is good right here. I like this a lot. The chocolate is even very good. It's not a malt, it's more like a crunch that's like in the Nestle Crunch. But it does not taste like Nestle Crunch. This is good. I like this. I will definitely eat these. 10 out of 10. Definitely gonna save that for my boo. Sweet Tooth. We're gonna call her Sweet Tooth Kelly. We mix it up with another chip. This is giving Funyuns. This is Tato Onion Rings. Fried Onion Flavor. Okay. Nice and bright. I don't smell onion at all. Mm. Huh. That's almost like a even puffed up, more puffed up uh, Captain Crunch. The texture. I feel like it dissolved in my mouth too fast. Like, if you just eat one, it's like it goes away too fast. You know, I get two crunches and then it's gone. Um, so I feel like they could have made it a little more dense. The onion flavor is not as strong as onions either. So, I don't know. Judge that for yourself, but I'm going to give it a. Seven? It's not bad, but I feel like it could be better. I will just go buy some Funyuns on this one. Candy time. Let's do Australia's Violet Crumble. Okay. Delicious shattering candy honeycomb. And it says dark, y'all. I'm wondering if it's dark chocolate. Oh, please, you know. I did not see that. Though. It says shattering, though. I'm just really... Interested to see what this is gonna be. If I can ever open it. Oh yes, definitely dark. Definitely dark. Very chocolate. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's hard as heck. Mm. The inside just melts. I like that. I don't know what that is, but I like the inside. Mmm. 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 Um. They got some of this, y'all. This is bomb. They really have some. The, the dark chocolate did not bother me at all. This is a very unique candy. I know you can't really tell, but the inside of this has the strangest texture. It's almost like what I would think that frozen um, cornstarch would feel like in your mouth. I've never tried it, never will, because I do not want to get hooked on that. But that's what I feel like it would be. I love it. I love this. Violet Crumble. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be, I wish I wouldn't mess the thing up. I like this so much. What's the calories and stuff on this, y'all? 130, that's not bad. I don't think that's bad. Is that bad for a candy bar? I'm going to compare it to something like Snickers and let y'all know right now. Okay, let's try. I got two more chips left. Ugh. Walker's glorious cheese and onion. Mm. Don't smell that. It doesn't smell real cheesy. Most cheese uh, chips to me smell like ass. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. This might be good. Okay, Walker. Now, if y'all have watched me. Y'all know I'm not a fan of cheese flavored chips. Like those cheese, uh, no, what is it? Sour cream and cheddar lays that everybody loves. And it did go well with that spicy bone. But I hate those chips. These are good. I feel like it, it's a good 
balance with the cheese. It's not too much cheese. And the onion is kicking. Okay, now I'm definitely an onion, oniony girl. I love onion. I like these a lot. These are gonna be 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Like if you guys are into that uh, French onion dip, or even the green onion dip, that was the oniony flavor that was in those chips. I really like those though. All right, let's do this drink. I'm getting thirsty again. Iron brew, I guess. I have no idea what flavor this is gonna be. Of course, because it's orange, my mind is wanting me to feel like it's gonna taste orange. It don't give you any idea what the flavor is. Carbonated flavor drink, that's it. All right, hopefully it's nice and carbonated too. Sounds good. Mmm, the carbonation is great. I have no idea what that flavor is though. It's, it's almost like a very light orange, a very light cream mix, an orange cream, but light. This is pretty good. Especially if you like those flavors. I know a lot of people don't like cream soda. If you don't like cream soda, you wouldn't like this. But it's not as strong as cream soda. I, I'm gonna give this a eight and a half. I like it, I love the fact that it was super carbonated. That's already an eight for me. All right, let's do this. Jack, Jamie Dodgers raspberry cookie, I guess. If you're from the UK and you have tried any of these, let me know what you guys think. Did I, did I pick some good ones or no? Okay. So that's this. This is it's kind of cute. This kind of reminds me of the Squid Game cookie, like the size of it and everything. Can I open this or no? Maybe I shouldn't. Let's just break it in half and see who we got. Okay, okay, I got a little raspberry pool. I'm gonna go right for the center. Hmm. I love the raspberry in the middle. Very good. I like the texture of it. I love the flavor of it. The cookie though. See, in America, we used to a lot more sugar, I think. It's just not sweet enough. And y'all know I don't even like sweet stuff. But it, they need a little bit more sugar for my taste. But they probably love this because they, they don't gluttonously use sugar like, and butter like we do. So, I'm going to give it an 8.5. All right, two more to go, y'all. We got the O'Donnell's Irish Cider Vinegar. So... Is that apple cider vinegar? And sea salt. Now, I don't think I've ever tried an apple cider vinegar chip. And I don't even know if that, that's what that means, but here we go. Y'all love y'all some vinegar, obviously. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Okay, you okay. guys. I'm liking y'all savory stuff. These chips are almost kettle. But I hate kettle chips, y'all. So it's a mix between like a Lay's and a kettle. So it gives you a little bit more of a crunch than Lay's does, but not so much. Like kettle be about to break your whole mouth. Okay? It's so hard. Flavor is great. I like these a lot. These are gonna be a 9.5. I like yo, hold on, you're doing well. Yes. I'll be saving these as well. I like those. Ooh. How much do these cost in the UK, you guys? I had to pay, I believe, $3 per bag here. But they're getting everything imported. So they gotta, they gotta charge us up for that. Last one. <laughs> and did I say we're raising candy? This actually says Nestle. But let's see where it was made. North Ireland. This was made in North Ireland. So Yorkie Raisin and Biscuit. What if it's good? I do like raisinets. So I'm, I'm gonna keep both of mine. I am. Alright. That is the yes. That is the yes, y'all. I like that. If you like raisinets, you would like this. Whatever the biscuit is in there, it didn't remind me of a biscuit. Um, it was just a nice crunch. I like this. 
This is a yes. This is my favorite thing of the day right here though. Favorite thing of the day. I love these chips as well. And this wasn't bad. So this was overall, I think, a good um, taste test. UK, shout out to y'all because y'all snacks are kind of bomb. <laughs> Let me know what else y'all want me to try in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment. Let me know what you guys think. Please follow me on TikTok and Instagram. My step loves love. Until next time, only your vibes. Peace. This shit right here. If you from um the UK, no, this I'm sorry, this one was Australia. If you from Australia, do they have this in milk chocolate? Because I really didn't mind the dark chocolate, so I'm like, the milk is probably out of control. I love this. When what is this in the inside? What am I eating? I don't know, but I really like that. Anyway, y'all, great taste test. Bye.